I get asked almost every day what the best free hosting is. So today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 best free hostings for your Minecraft server. So to get things started off, we actually have a Turnos. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Oh my gosh, that's the worst free hosting of all time. But just hear me out, okay? It's what a lot of people, including myself, initially start off with, and it's great for understanding how Minecraft servers work. However, there are some drawbacks, the main one being that you can't upload files. This is like the only free hosting that doesn't let you upload files, and it is super annoying. It also doesn't have a super long uptime, which is kind of annoying because you only have about like five minutes until it closes down. This would be perfect for you if you're completely completely new to hosting Minecraft servers, but if you're a seasoned professional and you know how Minecraft servers work, this probably isn't for you, so you might want to use one of the other ones that I'm about to mention. Okay, next up is Minefort. If you've ever used Minehut, <coughs> this is extremely similar to that. It's like one giant network. So players can basically connect to your server directly, or they can connect through the Minefort lobby and then you will be able to get new players into your server's community. So this is great if you're looking to grow your server, if it's public. And next up, you saw this coming, it's Minehut. Now I want to take a little bit of time to compare and contrast Minehut to Minefort because they both have some similarities and some differences that I think we should discuss. For one, Minehut is a large company and they've been around for a very long time. Minehut is not going anywhere soon. Minehut also has a larger player base than Minefort does. This means that there are more players that can join your server but your server could also get drowned out by bigger servers that are like topping the lists. On the other hand, Minefort has a smaller player base, but that could be good because you would be able to more easily get to the top of the charts and like take over Minefort or something. It's also worth noting that you can't play Cracked on Minehut but you can on Minefort. So this might be kind of like where you draw the line on this. Both Minehut and Minefort are great if you're trying to grow a public community, but if you just want to play with your friends, then I don't recommend this free hosting and I have some better ones up my sleeve. My sleeve's kind of small, but there, there are free hostings up there, believe it or not. So in the seventh spot, we have Sneaky Hub. This is a great free hosting for developers for like testing plugins or building servers or whatever the heck kids do these days. Basically, you need to earn enough shards every day to keep your server up, but don't worry, they're free and easy to get through their Discord. I actually have the most shards on Sneaky Hub. Don't listen to this kid. He's just a sore loser. It's actually this Hyper Dargo kid that has the most shards. He's down here at 45. Yeah, what a loser. Haha, <laughs> you nerd. You're in 45th place. Boo! And like 20,000 referrals somehow from that video that got almost 100,000 views. Thank you guys for that, by the way. Okay, next up we have Felix Nodes or Phallix Nodes, however you want to say it. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is a really great free hosting that offers decent specs. They even have a way to renew your server for 24 hours. I'm not making the Maroon 5 joke. 24 hours. I know I said that I don't like 24 7 free hostings, but this hits different because you have to invite enough friends or earn enough coins to purchase super renewals to keep your server online 24 seven, which I think is pretty cool. I somehow have like two and a half million coins on Felix notes. I have no idea how. Okay, next up we have Leoral Hosting. I covered this one just a couple weeks ago and it's a pretty good free hosting. It's one of those MSH servers, which is really cool in my opinion. Basically your server is going to start up whenever a player tries to join your server. But then when they leave or there are zero players online, then your server shuts off until somebody tries to join again. So that way it's not always online, but it's kind of always online, you know, just, just kind of a little bit. Next up is Slice Hosting. This is another MSH server just like Leoral, and I recently made a video on this, so go check it out and give me lots of views. But yeah, I already explained MSH, so let's move on. Coming in at number four, we have Magma Node. I hear a lot of good things about this one, and it has pretty fast uptime. It's pretty simple to set up and get started. Next up, we have Accent Host, which I also recently covered. As of making this video, I have 445 referrals already, so thank you guys for that. This host has a really unique system that allows you to earn credits, and your server will only shut down when you run out of credits. You can also choose how much RAM and disk space your server has, ranging from 2GB all the way to 10GB. 
You can also run other games like BeamNG Drive, TF2, Unturned, Rust, and even Gary's Mod. Not Skibbity Toilet though. No, no Skibbity Toilet. Now our last two free hostings are super difficult to set up completely miserable and not fun at all. You already know what I'm talking about. Google Cloud and Oracle Cloud. While these free hostings do require a credit card to get started, they offer a ton of RAM and CPU disk and they even are 24 seven. Since Google and Oracle are large scale companies and we know they have decent infrastructure, I can confidently recommend this hosting instead of other 24 seven hostings. However, it is super painful to set them up and it's probably just going to be easier to use one of the aforementioned free hostings. But if you want to check it out, I'll link tutorials in the description below if you're interested, but never expect me to make a video on it because I warn you, it is completely miserable and you have to be like a super big brain computer nerd and frankly, I'm pretty stupid. Anyways, I always have to mention that free hostings should never be an alternative to premium hostings. They typically are run on weaker hardware and are only meant as a free trial to the premium services. If you're looking for a paid hosting, most of the hostings that I mentioned in this video have premium options, but I personally recommend SpringRex or ReviveNode. It's what I use to run Crafted SMP on. Yeah, join Crafted SMP. It's really fun. We're having a Civilizations event coming up soon. You should also join my other Minecraft server, Ruxer. I've been working on the Lifesteal and Random Kits resets, and let me tell you, it is going to be awesome, so you do not want to miss this. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you agree with my selection or if you have a free hosting that I didn't mention. Also, if you're still watching, that means you probably enjoyed. So why don't you go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe while you're at it. That'll really help me out. Thank you. All right. I will see you crafters on the other side and don't forget to get outside, get into nature and make your own discoveries. Happy crafting. <laughs> Dr. Scott, the paleontologist.